Hi guys, it's Mrs. Lachance again. So we are going to be reading our second read aloud story for section four of our exercise unit. So this story is called Guacamole. So I want you to practice with your kiddo how to say that word because it's a great way for them to practice the W sound. So you're gonna say guacamole. You can practice it before we start. So this week we are focusing on foods and all of the healthy foods we need to fuel our bodies so we can exercise and do all the activities that we like to do every day. So whether that be running, if you play a sport like soccer, t-ball, um, if you do dance or gymnastics, we need to eat healthy foods so we can move our bodies and fuel our muscles in a healthy way so when we are exercising, we aren't hurting ourselves. So we're going to read guacamole. And while we're reading it, you can look at the pictures just like we did at our previous book for this week, the Raw Raw Radishes book. I want you to look at the pictures and focus on, you know, the different the different foods that are in the photos and you can go back to the story, you can pause like I did with raw raw radishes and you can ask your kiddo, you know, what is the size of the food or what color is the food and practice working on the names of the food so they can learn those. So guacamole. Today I am going to make you guacamole. I say to my mother and father and my little brother and sister, they stare at me with their big eyes that remind me of the green avocados in the basket on the red kitchen table. So right here we have an avocado because they're gonna make guacamole. To make a delicious guacamole that will leave your mother and father and your little brother and sister begging for more, you need four big avocados like green precious stones and two fresh limes, big shiny ones, round as crystal marbles. You need some cilantro leaves, green as a four leaf clover. You need salt and that's all. So we can also practice our counting in this book if you want, so you can count the different ingredients. There's one thing of salt, two limes, one cilantro and four avocados. First, put on your chef's apron. Mine has balloons on it. With my apron and its balloons and little bird, I feel like a great chef. And I am one as I sing and dance around the kitchen. Guacamole is so easy to make. Then I get my favorite dish. It's decorated with a garland of little red flowers and green leaves shaped like hearts. I feel like dancing, so I dance with my dish with its little red flowers and heart-shaped green leaves. The avocados are waiting for me, so big and green and beautiful. I squeeze them gently with my hands and I can tell that they are soft and ripe with their shiny tender skin like leaves in my garden after the rain. I wash them in the fountain of the sink and then dancing and singing, I put them on the red kitchen table. Now it's time to cut the avocados. One by one, very slowly cut them in half. In the center of each avocado, you'll find a little ball, round as a small world. It's smooth and slippery, like a slide. If you grab this pit too hard, it will slip. If you hold it too gently, it will fall. Don't throw the pits out. They are the seeds from which avocado trees are born. Take a spoon, not too big, not too small. The spoon is like a tractor that you will use to scrape the avocado flesh. Scoop out all the tender flesh of all four avocados. Put the green avocado flesh in your dish. The empty avocado skins look like wash bowls. Don't throw them out, set them aside with the pits. Now add salt, not too much. Sing to the salt as you shake it so that little spatters of white drizzle fall like rain on the green avocado. 
Salt, salty salt from my salt shaker. Salt goes in first. Now with your tractor spoon, stir up the green avocado flesh. Move your spoon up and down. The avocado is getting softer. It's becoming guacamole. Take a little branch of cilantro and wash it in the fountain of your sink. It looks like a little tree. Wash it well, shake it off, and sprinkle water around the kitchen. Tear the leaves off your tree, one by one, and add them to the avocado. Mmm, cilantro smells so good. Mmm, such a fresh, such a green smell. Now take the limes, which are also green and perfectly round. Take them over to bathe in the kitchen fountain. Cut the limes in half. Carefully, one by one, you are going to squeeze them with your hands over the avocado waiting in its dish. So soft, such a fresh smell, such a greeny green smell. Their sour little lime smell makes my mouth water. The lime peel is soft and juicy juice comes out. Don't get it in your eyes, it stings. The juice that comes like tears from the limes. Ooh, the sour river of lime. Smells so good as it falls on the greeny green of the avocado. I laugh. I laugh river laughs. I laugh green laughs. I laugh lime laughs. I laugh guacamole laughs. Little pearls that look like eyes will fall from your hands. They are lime seeds. Pick out the little pearls that fall into the avocado with your fingers. Don't throw them away. Lime trees could grow from them. Don't throw the peels out either. In your hands, they feel like balls whose air has leaked out. Put them with the seeds and the avocado skins. Stir everything together again, up and down with your tractor spoon. Stir it well, taste it, sprinkle on more salt, and stir and stir around and around. Sing and dance because food tastes better when you sing and dance. Yummy, what yummy guacamole. Now everything is green and juicy and it's dish with red flowers and green leaves like hearts. Now the guacamole is ready. Before you sit down to eat, take all the seeds and skins and peels into the garden. Plant them in Mother Earth so that more avocados will grow, more lime trees, more colors, and more flavors. Now the time has come to call your mother and father and your little brother and sister to heat up the beans and tortillas and to sit down and enjoy the guacamole that tastes so fresh. Yummy guacamole, so greeny green, as pure as love. The end. So that is our second book for this week. Feel free to refer back to this video. We're going to read this one twice, so we'll be reading this on Tuesday and Thursday. So take a look as many times as you want and need to. You can practice saying the names of the food and the colors that we saw today. Thanks, guys.